Hello and welcome to this uh, playthrough video of the uh, Button Shy game, The Forest Watch. This is a nine card game that was available, um, first available in the uh, Board Game of the Month Club, um, but you can get it now uh, via the web store. Go to buttonshygames.com and you'll be able to find it there. It's a one player game. It's actually a nine card game, so it's not the usual. Um, uh, 18 card button shy game. So this is a, a game where you have three heroes and you fight against five uh, five enemies. Here's our little flavor text here. So breathe deep, the enemies are all around you. Their sharp claws rake the air. They expect you to cower in fear, but you've been training for this all your life. Carry your weapon proudly as you step into the circle, young one. The forest watch has now been set we will not let them pass, no matter the costs. Okay, so this is, uh, um, so we only have three, because um, it's very limited uh, card count here, you have three heroes, so you always play with those three heroes. And there are six different uh, enemies. Uh, so our heroes here are all uh, rodents, and our enemies here are all cats. Okay, so uh, what you do, we've got six, but we only fight against five. So, um, and this is one of these games um, here where how well you do does depend quite a lot on uh, on how you, um, the luck of the draw or the luck of the deal. Okay, so let's deal out our cards. So we deal our cards out. Okay, and it depends, and again, where they land and things like that. So, and we'll go through the uh, the different um, the different abilities and things as we go. Okay, uh, so that's not so good. So there's then there's one card that uh, kind of gets left out that we don't use. Okay, and you can, you, I mean, if you want to, you can have a look at that. And it's ghost. Um, Okay, yeah, so we'll see. We'll see how we go. Okay, so for this you do need, uh, there is a little component. You do need just a little tracking cube for their health. So these just mark their health. So we need some for the heroes as well as the enemies. Okay, and then so as... As you go through, let me just uh, show you this card. Um, uh, you can see that at the top here, the the numbers are the attack that this hero will make, and the uh, the little skull there is which enemy will then attack them. Okay, um, and the, each uh, hero and enemy have these uh, um, special skills. And when their health is in their kind of white area, then it's the white skill. And when it's in the dark area, then it's the, the dark skill there. Okay. So you choose, so your hero moves into the center and attacks, and then uh, as per their wheel, and then they receive their damage as per their wheel, and any of the skills and things are, are uh, taken into account. Now, as we go round, so um, uh, so Valor uh, can immediately, after the enemy's turn, heal one health point to any hero, including themselves. Uh, Morgan, once per turn, um, immediately after being attacked, may move that enemy to its immediate left or right. And Sarah here only has a dark skill here and uh, immediately after dying deal one damage to each enemy that attacked um, attacked at that turn so as she dies she just deals that damage so we need to know because then we're going to have a look at where they're uh, attacking and who's attacking them and we need to look at the uh, understand the skills of the enemies that they're they're going they're being attacked so midnight here if not attacked, after the enemy's turn, heals one health point to the enemy with the least life. So it's a good idea to attack him. 
then you can't heal others. Uh, now, uh, if attacked, immediately deals one damage back. Okay, um, so you can attack them, but you'll take damage back from them. Um, Athos, when attacking, deals double damage. Uh, Nebu Nebui, uh, if attacked, holds the hero in the center one more turn. So if you attack him, then you can't move because... <coughs> After the hero turn, then after the enemy turn, you can then um, change your hero if you want to. But obviously, if you attack a uh, Nebri, um, you can't move out. You can the second time. And then here, Blanca, during the hero's turn, prevents damage to the enemy on her immediate left. So that would be... So even if you attack him, uh, her she, she will uh, uh, protect him. Okay, and that's a bad. Having her dealt over here is tricky, okay? We really want her over here so then her skill doesn't help anybody. Um, so we then have to look now. So Morgan can move people, okay? Um, but after being attacked you may move that enemy to its immediate left or right um, but he only gets attacked by them them or them but actually if he attacks then we can move her but then that just puts her there and then we could move her to here and him to there you can do that when it's her protection doesn't go around the circle, but if you're moving characters, um, it can go off the edge. So if you were to move her to the right, she comes to here, and they, they basically swap. They don't just shuffle around, they swap places. Um, And the other thing is to note is some of these heroes or some of these enemies, uh, these have all just got six health. Maybe this one's got different, no, six. Okay, so if we put Sarah in the middle, she would do two damage to now, but here they would damage her one back immediately. Three damage. And then one damage, but that would get negated by Blanca's. Then she would take, so she'd take one. Then she would take two from Midnight. And one from Blanca. So she would go down. One, two, one. <coughs> and then Midnight would then heal Athos anyway because he wasn't attacked. Um, no point using Morgan, because he does two damage here, but, but she's gonna prevent both of those bits of damage. We'll attack Midnight, so there's no healing, and we'll attack Blanca. But then he can then move somebody. We want to be able to focus Focus on damaging one person. So, so yeah, I'm not sure we're going to win this because I'm. We, this is he's real tough. It's, it's they're real tough as well. And um, plus, having Blanca over there, we need the the help of her being over here. So, so I think we just go in with Morgan. So Morgan's going to deal one damage to Midnight, um, two damage to Nebri, but it prevents all damage, and then one damage to Blanca. Okay, then Morgan's going to receive one damage from now, one damage from Athos, there, and then... Um, one damage from 
um, Nebri. Also, they because Morgan attacked Nebri, um, he's going to hold uh, Morgan in the middle. Okay, but attack from Nebri is going to use the skill to move uh, Blanca there. So we're going to switch positions now because obviously first time around he attacked, but then now can do two damage so Morgan has to stay because of uh, Nibiri's uh, skill so then he's going to attack again he's going to attack Midnight again and he's going to attack Blanca twice and then he's going to attack Nibiri again but even though it has only attacks once it's not accumulative okay so now Morgan is going to Receive damage from now. It's going to receive damage from Athos. Oh, we probably would have been dead because he should have been dealing double damage. So Morgan is now gone. Uh, so, we now need to choose one of our other. Now, we can't do damage to Athos anymore because Blanca is uh, protecting them. But we also can't really do damage to her other than using Sarah. Mm. So yeah, it's going to be a pretty short game. Because we really need to be able to focus on one person. Um, I think... I think we go in with Sarah. Here. And so she's going to do two now but tax her back it's going to do three to Athos but nothing comes through it's preventing Blanca's protecting him and it's going to do one to Blanca now Blanca's in her dark area here that means during the hero's turn prevents damage to enemies on her immediate left and right okay uh, so now Sarah's going to receive two damage from Midnight. One, two. I'm going to receive one damage from Nibiri. One. Midnight, if not attacked, we didn't attack him. It's going to um, heal one health point to somebody with the lowest, which is Blanca. It's brought her back up to white, so she's only protecting Athos now. So now I really need to take Sarah out and put uh, Valor in. Now Valor's going to do one damage to Midnight. Now he's into dark air. If not attacked after the enemy's turn, revives one enemy with one health point. So it brings somebody back to life with, and they just have one health. You can do one damage to Athos, but it's not going to hit. And one more damage to Nibiri. There. So now Valor is going to take damage from Midnight. Going to take damage from Blanca. Okay, and then immediately after the enemy's turn, can heal one health point to one hero. Now the thing is, Sarah's going to take in, if she goes in again, she'll take two damage from Midnight, which will kill her off. But even if I heal her once, she'll take two damage and it will kill her off. Okay, so I'm actually going to heal himself. And I'm going to go round again. 
do one damage to Midnight, one damage to Athos, which doesn't hit, and one damage to Nibiri again. Okay, now Val is going to take a damage from Midnight and a damage from Blanca. Now it says her dark. Or Valor's Dark uh, skill here is immediately after enemy's turn, revive one hero with one health point. Obviously, I've so I I can bring I can bring Morgan back into the game. So let's bring him back with one health point. Okay. Um. Oh, I'd attacked him anyway, so. I had to stay in, so I had to stay in anyway, but... So we come back out again. Now, what I can do... Is... So... Really need to do... But Morgan, I'm not going to be able to use Morgan to use skill because it says once per turn, immediately after being attacked, you may move the enemy to the immediate left or right. As soon as he's attacked, going to die again. Okay, so who? But I think he's probably the best person because he can kill off Midnight, kill off Blanca, and then take Nibiri down. And then actually that will negate his because he'll then get killed off by now. And that would be it. So yeah, let's put Morgan back in. So he's gonna one damage on midnight. Got him. Two damage on Blanca. Now she's not protecting anybody. And one damage on the Beery there. Okay, and if attacked holds a hero in the center permanently, a dead hero cannot be held in the center. So now Morgan's going to receive damage from now. Kill back off again. Or knocked out, I guess we can say. So we're not too bad here. So now... If I can put Valor in... Now obviously that's going to miss, well she's going to attack, but it's not going to hit, and nobody's there. You can attack here, Athos, and attack Nibiri. And again, obviously, because he's been knocked out, don't have to stay in. So now, receive damage, no, and receive damage from there, no. Um, and I can revive Morgan again. If I want, or oh. now this is where the rules are maybe a bit shaky in that immediate. See, I'm in the dark area, but what if I don't want to revive and I want to heal? Okay, and um. ah. What I've been missing with Valor actually is this zero. So I attack now, but don't do any damage, but receive one damage because it attacked me straight back. Okay, so so now actually I think if I revive Morgan, no, he's not gonna can't attack anybody, and he, and I can't get him enough health. To stay alive, so let's bring in Sarah. So she's going to do two damage to now. But then he's going to kill her. Um, and immediately after dying, deal one damage to the enemy that attacked you this turn. So, one damage. Just made that sacrifice. 
And actually now I think I can probably win, but there's probably some of these that I didn't do. So now I can bring in Valor. Attacks round. Uh, at the end of the turn, can revive one hero with one health point. So actually I could just bring in Sarah, one health. Take Valid out, put Sarah back in. Three, one, two, three. Kill Athos. And there we go. So yeah. Good game. Um, I think though, and probably if you watch it back, probably Valor would have died maybe a bit earlier because I wasn't counting his zero as an attack. He should have been taking damage every time he tried to attack. Um, so maybe, maybe I probably didn't win. Um, but yeah, so that's a good game. Uh, so that's the Forest Watch um, from Button Shy Games. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and I'll. Uh, um, Speak to you again soon. Take care.